good evening all welcome to this uh, uh, session that is science in radiology set 7 so i th uh, i thank all my subscribers followers uh, teachers students and well wishers i have completed uh, 3 years of this youtube channel i have started this on 5th uh, july 2021 uh, thank you for all your support and i hope the support continues for the coming years recently i have added a video in the entertainment sections also you can watch and uh, enjoy the dance performance uh, in future also i will add few of the other videos in the entertainment section so coming to the science of radiology set 7 this is the first sign which is called as water file sign which is classically seen in neurobasic disease so this is nothing but the cascade sign or water file sign so this is that cascade sign or water file sign so this is nothing but uh, here in the neurobasic disease the hyper intensity there is hyper intense signal on t2 or flare in the coronal weighted image coronal images this hyperintense signal in the thalamus and the internal capsule is all extends along the uh, ipsilateral midbrain which typically mimics the waterfall so so th this mimics the waterfall so this uh, hyperintense signal on coronal t2 weighted flare sequences in neurobasic disease that is nothing but high signal in the thalamus and internal capsule extending into the ipsilateral midbrain mimics the waterfall so cascade sign or waterfall sign in neurobasic disease next one this is you can see uh, this is the benign vertebral compression fracture this benign vertebral compression fracture you can see there are multiple gaps between the fracture fragments but all these fra multiple fra uh, fracture fragments still visible and fit e together this mimics the puzzle sign so these are multiple components in the puzzle which uh, fit or align to form the puzzle here also there are multiple small gaps in the um, cortical bone with respect to the other bone fragments which are still visible but they fit together like a puzzle so this is a classical puzzle sign which can be seen in benign vertebral compression fractures sometimes it will be helpful to differentiate benign from malignant vertebral compression fractures next one this is nothing but an embryo sign here you can see there is a dilated cecal loop this is a dilated cecal loop and here also you can see this is the dilated cecum with twisted mesentery typically seen in abdominal radiographs this is nothing but a case of cecal valvulus so the dilated large dilated cecal pole this is the cecal pole mimics the head of the embryo and other other segments mimics the body and tail of the embryos so this is nothing but embryo sign which is classically seen on abdominal radiographs in case of cecal valvulus uh, which is nothing but the cecum di dilated cecum with twisted mesentery it can be also seen in the mr so here also you can see this is mr which typically shows the cecal valvulus so remember embryo sign in cecal valvulus next uh, sign here you can see this is nothing but chipmunk sign so here chipmunk sign is nothing but classically seen in the medulla in some patients with leukodystrophy particularly alexander disease so the actual t2 weighted images through the medulla here you can see this is the actual t2 weighted image through the medulla uh, here you can see the central parts of the inferior orbital nucleus follow my arrow the central parts of inferior orbital nucleus uh, there are central hyperintense signals noted in the central part of the inferior orbital nucleus the cuneate fasciculus gracile fasciculus and medullary pyramids the overall silhouette of the chipmunk head is nothing but here you can see the spade peripheral parts of the inferior orbital nucleus mimics the eyes of the chipmunk whereas the spade uh, inferior cerebellar peduncles these are the inferior cerebellar peduncles which makes the cheap cheeks of chipmunk so the silhouette of the chipmunk head is nothing but the spade peripheral parts of the inferior orbital nucleus which makes the eyes and spare inferior cerebellar peduncles which makes the adorable cheeks so this chipmunk sign is classically seen in alexander disease but sometimes it can be also seen in adult polyglucosan body syndrome disease vanishing white matter disease pelzier's merzbacher disease 4h syndrome which is nothing but hypomyelination hypogonadotropic hypogonadism and hypodontia and sometimes in adult onset dominant leukodystrophies so here this you can remove chip, chipmunk head this face of the chipmunk head that is nothing but the peripheral parts of the inferior orbital nucleus mimics the eyes whereas the spared peripheral inferior inferior cerebellar peduncles mimics the adorable cheeks so classical remember chipmunk sign in uh, leukodystrophies particularly alexander disease so this is the journal from which i have taken the image next what is sack of marble sign or marbles in a bag sign here you can see there is a swelling noted in the floor of the mo uh, nothing but in the under, under sorry, floor of the mo uh, sorry in the chin so here you can see this is a cystic lesion with multiple echogenic ball like structures or spear like structures noted in the cyst which mimics the bag of mar bag of uh, sack of marbles or bag of marbles appearance these are nothing but classically seen in dermoid cyst in the head and neck region they appear hyperechoic on the or echogenic on the ultrasound 
and there is, they are nothing but multiple uh, showing multiple fat density globules in the ct and even this is the fat suppressed mr sequence you can see there are multiple hypotense uh, uh, lesion hypotense areas noted in the cyst so remember sack of marble sign or ma marble of bag marbles in a bag sign in case of dermoid cyst in head and neck region next this is hemocytin cap sign this hemocytin cap sign is nothing but on mr imaging in the t2 weighted here you can see in the t2 weighted image this is, there is a hyper intense lesion noted in the spinal cord at c2 c3 vertebral level but there is a hypo intense rim or cap which is seen uh, above and below the tumor so this hypo intense cap nothing but the is nothing but the hemocytin uh, rim or cap which is due to chronic hemorrhage above and below the tumor which is due to previous hemorrhage it is classically seen in spinal cord dependent mmas in 20 to 33% of cases Cases. Sometimes this hemocytin capsin can be also seen in uh, sp uh, spinal cord cavernomas. Thank you all.